Here I am sailing on Fern Ridge Reservoir. Nice breeze, not too much, not too little. I'm going to show you the telltales on the sail up there. They should both be streaming back. I'm going to get the wind, angle the wind just right. There we go. The boat literally picks up speed. car as opposed to a station wagon. The wind picks up too much. I can use the furling drum down there and just wind a little bit of the sail around the mast and get it to where it's more easily handled. I had sailed at one time on a day when it was a little too windy. And when that happens, the sail overpowers the rudder. And the boat wants to round up into the wind. You can't keep the rudder in the water. So you reduce sail a little bit, and everything balances out again. This is the Hobie Tandem Island. I just bought this not too long ago. I traded in my Hobie Adventure Island, which is a one-place boat. And you can see that this one has a back seat. So the pedal drive down here goes completely through the bottom of the boat. They're like little penguin flippers that uh, go below the boat and when you pedal back and forth they propel the boat with pretty good speed. I think I can by myself I probably could get six or seven miles per hour if I really push hard. With two people probably could get seven or eight. It's the latter half of September and all the crowds are gone. Pretty much have the lake all to myself. If I can just manage to stay on the boat, should be no problem. If my friends Tim Cross and John Bird happened to see this. They may remember the time we were sailing out here on a Hobie catamaran and uh, I managed to fall off the boat in the middle of the lake. And neither one of them really knew how to turn the boat around. So that was an interesting day. Now I'm going to sign off and enjoy sailing.